Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Leo and Gemini, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. Let me say it the old way. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this relationship. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure I don't lose my stride when it comes to my show that I built. I say what I want to say, right? I want to get back to a very... Actually, you know what, guys? The weather is actually is cooperating. It feels really good, but I will say I do have a lot of concerns about it. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Oh, oh, and check this out. So my last video... Actually, and I said this on the last video, and I also tweeted to you guys. I tweeted. I said that I saw some people making some... Uh, there were a total of five... By the fourth person that I saw gagging, and it, it's, 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 some threw up, and it was, by the time I saw people gag, I said, oh, no, something ain't right. So here's the other piece to it. This is what I want to tell you guys, all right? So on top of that, later on, now, I don't know if this is significant, but like you guys already understand me, right? You understand that I don't necessarily believe in coincidences. I believe everything is connected. We just don't know how until we know how. If that makes any sense, right? So when I saw the uh, deceased bird, right? It wasn't like the rat that they left at my greenhouse to scare me. That stuff don't scare me. I, listen, I'm trying to tell you, my daddy taught me the game. That stuff don't scare me. I mean, first, it's like, I don't know. Anyway, so when I saw the deceased bird, I was like, I'm concerned about that. So I want you guys to just like be really careful even with things that you see on the ground, please use gloves. Something's up. I'm just saying something's up with the weather. I don't know. I just feel like even around here, the regular sunshine has been very, even if you take away the humidity, it's been very, I don't know, is a potent, something is hot. I don't know. Anyway, Leo, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. 218 is when I actually start to read. I'm not going to write that down. I, I ain't. I know me. I mean, even if I write it down, I know I'll be like, that's really not. Anyway, Leo, let's see what's going on in this relationship. Give me your energy right now in this relationship with Gemini. Where are you, please? What's going on? We have solitude. Some of you guys are taking some time to yourselves. You may not be hanging around a lot of people. Some of you are in a, a healing state, right? So some of you guys could have traveled. You could be by water. Could be hiking. Maybe you're out by the mountains or literally maybe you are just in your home. This could simply be a YouTube video. You know, one of those videos where they have like the lo-fi playing in the background or the sound of water or something like that. It could be something as simple as that where you are not necessarily rocking with other people right now. You're trying to get some harmony within yourself is what I'm feeling. Or you have to walk away from something. Let's see what the next card brings. Give me one more, please. Leo, blessings in disguise. This time of solitude for you, I feel like you guys are going to find a lot of things about yourselves. Talents that you didn't even know you had. There's some blessings that are coming about that you guys, maybe you at some point did not believe this was some sort of a blessing, but there's going to be some blessings having to do with your work. You guys are manifesting something. All right, please keep in mind that somebody could be trying to bring you negativity, right? And I think that's what this is about. This card is twofold. It talks about somebody bringing you negativity, but somebody also receiving a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise, this negativity that you guys had to go through. A caged bird. For some of you guys, you feel like you are caged. You feel like you can't move. For some of you, this is this partnership. I'm caged. I can't move. I cannot manifest what I want. For some of you, you need to be grateful for this time of solitude, because that's where the blessings come in. There's some sort of disguise here, blessing in disguise, but a caged bird. It might seem like a place where you guys are stuck in some sort of a, uh, I can't move, but there's no movement. Or for some of you, you can't manifest or work your work, whatever your work situation is. Maybe it's not turning out the way you guys want it to, but this is all a blessing. Whatever this is about. You being stuck, my point is, or you being in solitude, um, I don't know. I feel like it's a blessing. Give me one more. So there's something coming out of it. Give me one more. Or, I mean, I mean, if you want to be literal, some of you guys could be taking some time to think about something that you tried to manifest. I'm going to be real with it, all right? So somebody tried to do something with work. Somebody could have tried to take some sort of action when it came to somebody's work or something like that. Um, and somebody could be a caged bird. 
literally that could be a jail for some of you, right? Not for everybody, but for some of you guys, that could literally be a jail. So I don't want to dismiss that, but I also don't want to focus on the negativity of it also. All right, let me go ahead and get another one here. Uh, Gemini, what's going on with you? We all feel like you walked away from something or you start to see something as a blessing. This is a blessing in disguise. Gemini, evil eye. So Gemini is sending somebody to evil eye. It says uh, Gemini is looking at you, Leo, with the side eye. I don't want you to have a new beginning. I do not want you to be able to manifest something. This is not good energy, right? That's not what I'm getting. Or somebody felt this way about you, Gemini. Maybe Leo's looking at you sideways and that's how you feel. Give, ooh, okay. Give me more. We also have here out of sight. So you send in somebody to evil eye, Gemini, and you are very much in sight. Maybe this person walked away from you. Leo could have walked away from you. Maybe that's why you're mad that this person's out of sight because they ain't checking for you. Is that why you mad? Out of sight is in reverse here. So I don't know. This person probably ain't even thinking about you, but you're clearly thinking about them, right? Or you might want them out of sight. You don't want them around, something like that, Gemini. This ain't for all Geminis, right? This is the energy coming up. Gemini could simply feel like this is what Leo is thinking about them. Like, oh, Leo, you sending me the evil eye and, and I'm trying to stay out of sight. See, Gemini is mad because Leo took off or something like that. Uh, somebody's staying with some kinfolk or people who are like-minded. I'm not taking that card, but that did come out. Give me one more, please, for Gemini in this relationship with Leo, all right, somebody wants you out of sight, Leo, or something like that, but this Gemini is mad, they're sending you the evil eye, they're like, I want you up out of here, if you could just get up on out of here, listen, fall back, so this Gemini has no intention of falling back with their evil eye, they're going to continue on, right, they're going to continue to do sloppy work with people to cause you some kind of havoc, which is going to, I don't know, ultimately fail, Right now, mind you, these energies could be reversed here. Somebody gonna fail. Somebody is choosing not to fall back, and the cards are saying as clear as day you're gonna fail. So I don't know why you keep doing it. Sending somebody the evil eye. Now, mind you, the general energy coming in here between these people is somebody that ain't got it all anyway, right? This is the energy between you guys where there's some imbalance here with this temperance card. This is an overwhelming feeling in this relationship, and even when you pull the cards, you feel it. It's like it's very it's not good. It's very nasty, like evil, like. So you guys have this temperance in between you. Let's just go there, right? Uh, for some of you guys, you are under this overwhelming pressure to cope. This could be a Leo. It could be a Leo here who's playing. Um, I don't want to say that. This could be a Cancer or it could be a Sag. This is energy. Somebody's in balance. Somebody's literally mentally ill, losing their mind, freaking out, probably fl flipping out on people, right? Somebody is purposely trying to make somebody lose their minds. I feel like this is an energy between you guys is very disruptive, is chaotic. Whoever this is in between you guys, they don't have any control of themselves here. So I don't know if you guys have somebody... I don't know. I feel like whatever this is, both you guys, this this energy. Somebody's messy. Somebody's chaotic. I feel like if you guys are separated, there's a reason why. It's because both the energies, you may have driven each other crazy. I don't know what this is, but this could also be another person. There's another person here. This could be a Cancer. For some of you guys, this could be a Sagittarius that comes in between you. I don't know why I feel like it could be a Leo too. Don't ask me why. Yeah, you know what? I'm seeing a couple of eights here. Could be a Leo. Could be somebody in June. I'm seeing sixes. I see. It could be June. When was June? June is a Gemini, right? Yep. Wait a minute. Where do I even start with that? To like May, June. Yeah. Gemini is June. And then Leo is eight. Yep. So, yeah. That's what that's basically what's showing up here. All right, so I see that. Okay. Somebody's losing their mind here. This is energy of somebody who's losing it here. They're not doing well in the mind. This person could be ment mentally ill, or both you guys could be mentally ill, whatever this is about. But somebody has a very chaotic energy. I will say for Leo, there's something with memories coming up for you guys. For some of you, 
there's some happy situation coming up for Leo. Leo, you walk away from a situation with your Gemini or something like that. For some of you guys, you walk away from something and you understand later that it's like a blessing in disguise. Some of you could be feeling like a caged bird, but some of you, I feel like there's some sort of mental imprisonment here or somebody feels like they're mentally imprisoned. For some of you, somebody's actually, somebody's actually gonna be going, it's a caged bird. Somebody's actually gonna be caged. Or imprisoned there's something here where there's gonna be some immediate changes to your environment Leo now the energy that I'm getting is this was the initial feeling that you have there was gonna be some immediate changes there was gonna be something that would make you feel better for some of you guys you have an important event or attended some sort of important event you might have some important event coming soon Leo whatever this is about for some of you, this could be about reunions or something like that. Maybe there's a reunion you guys are going to go to. For some of you, you could be living in a the past. There's something going on that happened in the past. Could be with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio or something happened in the past. Leo with Gemini. All right, so I don't know if this is a now relationship. This could be something from the past because I see some things that suggest here that somebody might be a little bit younger or something like that. In any case here, you guys attended or will attend or there's something coming up, some event coming up for you, Leo, that you may have to go to. It doesn't necessarily say whether or not this is celebratory. However, it does say that the Six of Cups is a happy time when it's in reverse, right? Because there's some changes to your immediate environment. So there's supposed to be good changes. I do feel like there was something that came in because now you have the justice that comes up reversed. So there could be some Libra. This could be the justice system. This is Libra that pops up in your energy in this relationship with Gemini. There's been some miscarriage of justice, Leo. There's some sort of a judgment that ends up going against you. Whatever happened here, it looks like some situation that was supposed to be cut and dry is not. It becomes very complicated. It says here that the facts are hidden about why something was done. The facts were actually hidden from the justice system or somebody's name could be justice or the facts were hidden from a Libra or the facts, the true facts of a situation could have been hidden from your Gemini here. It says that people are acting with bias towards you. So they have an opinion, all right? I have an opinion or I don't believe in this. I don't believe in that. Somebody has something. The cards are saying here that instead of focusing on what these other folks think, you guys need to focus on the support that you were getting from your people who are close to you versus other people that be, could be getting in the mix or whatever that's about. All right, so there could be some interference in this relationship. Jim and I could feel like they've been treated unfairly. But some of you guys, really, there's a judgment that is going to go against you in some case. I don't know. If this is a divorce or a breakup, I don't know if somebody's suing somebody. In any case here, we have a Leo here. It says that there's this energy here, right? So I don't know what this is about. Leo, you could have water in your chart. But the Page of Cups coming up reverse. This is something where somebody's seeking some sort of attention. This could be somebody younger, somebody who has some sort of difficulty expressing themselves. Leo, you could be younger. Or Leo in Gemini, you guys could share a child who's a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio or something like that. But there's some message that comes in. For some of you guys, this is a very frustrating uh, message that you're going to get or something like that. Because when you probe and ask this younger energy for the truth, they're not going to tell you what the truth is. They're going to do something to cloud it up, muddy it up, or just straight up, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you why I did that. I don't have to. I just and that. I feel like this like that kind of energy. This could be a kid. Or something like that. Whatever this is about. Or somebody could just be acting immaturely. This could just suggest or say that Leo is the immature one in this relationship who you can't get the truth out of. Possibility, yes. Now, we also have the Two of Swords that comes up. The Two of Swords is coming up. Somebody in this relationship did something, right? And somebody's unwilling to tell the truth. This could be a couple that is at odds. Somebody could be unwilling to tell the truth about what happened in the situation. I'm not going to admit the truth about a, a matter, I feel like these energies could actually be reversed. For some of you guys here, you have a Gemini who was reluctant to make a decision about something. For some of you guys, there was some sort of confusion or indecision, and that's why you have this here. I feel like if you fast forward it today, somebody understands, yes, now I have to compromise. 
I have to make a decision about something. It says Gemini may have made some sort of decision in the past having to do with the Ace of Cups reversed here. There's some sort of fertility issue. Somebody could have walked away from a relationship. There was a fertility issue. Somebody could have walked away. Um, I don't know, maybe after they found out somebody was pregnant or somebody didn't know somebody was pregnant. I get fertility issue. Somebody could have told you, Gemini, that they were pregnant. All right. It could have been you're a Leo, or it could have been a Libra, or it could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Sag, or it could be a Cancer. That comes up to you and they're like, oh, I'm pregnant, because it could be a water sign or something like that. They're like, oh, I'm pregnant or something like that. Um, it says here, somebody might be having some sexual issues. So you could be having a fertility issue, Gemini. That could be you not being able to conceive. For some of you guys, you may not have sexual drive and potency, unable to impregnate somebody, a woman. I cannot impregnate you. Low sperm count for some of you guys. Uh, in some cases, this could be a situation where maybe a woman can't have a child. Barren. All right. Go have acupuncture. Remember Charlotte had acupuncture? I'm trying to remember, did it work for Charlotte? I remember the needles, I remember the band playing in the background, and I remember she had to get that stuff out of her head so she could really concentrate. And there was so much noise in the background. I can't remember if Charlotte got pregnant after. I think she adopted her baby and then she got pregnant. Okay, so in any case here, this could be something with a baby. Don't ask me where that came from. It's just when I was thinking fertility issue and then it brought me to acupuncture. I totally believe in holistic medicine. I also believe in Eastern medicine too, or it was Eastern, whatever, right? I believe in both of them, but I, 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 I feel like we should do everything as naturally as we can before we go and spend all, I don't know, anyway. So this is where we are with this, right? Somebody has some sort of emotional block or fertility issue. This could also mean that somebody has a child that is here, that is alive and walking, and maybe somebody didn't know about it. Somebody could be saying, hey, you are the father or something like that. I can't think of it being any other way. You are the father and maybe somebody's like, I'm not the father. In any case, it could be something where if somebody wanted to start a new relationship or something like that. It was supposed to be about a new relationship. Somebody was built up. This is Gemini. Maybe built up after a letdown. There was some something where you guys felt like maybe you had some expectations that were unrealistic. Because unrealistic expectations does come up too. So with the Ace of Cups, you guys had this expectation of this relationship and maybe you feel like you were lied to. There's something where somebody's taking something to the justice system. I wasn't treated fairly. You told me this and that. I don't know if somebody hit a kid. There's something about a kid that keeps coming up. So somebody has a hidden child or somebody didn't disclose that they had children when the relationship started. There's something weird like that. For some of you guys, this is you, Gemini, fearing for some reason that you fear that you're not going to have enough time to spend with your family and your children. Now, I don't know what this is about. I know that it's time for you to compromise, make a decision about something, right? For some of you guys, this could be what is going to happen with my finances, right? Because I do see this thing where it talks about employment. It talks about mastering your craft. So something having to do with work, but something also about not having enough time to spend with your family and friends. There's some sort of disappointment. I'm going to pull more. Hold on, you all. Let me see something. Not having enough time, to me, sounds like there's not enough hours in a day. Number one. Mm, I don't have enough time. Maybe I won't. You know, maybe I won't. I don't know why you would say I don't have enough time. Other than like, I don't know. Not enough hours in a day. Congested schedule. Some of you guys, this could be related to health. Somebody's weighing their options when it comes to love. 
Gemini, you could have chose somebody else or something like that. Leo feels like you did you did not do me right. I was treated unfairly in this situation. But you go back at them and you're like, well, I was built up. You built something up or somebody built something up. It could have been a Libra that built something up in this relationship and you were let down. Somebody sold somebody a pipe dream about something. Hmm. <sighs> Please clarify the Ace of Cups reverse. Oh, somebody's not going to get the money. All right. You're going to make a decision about what's the decision, though. The decision was I was built up to be let down over some finances. Somebody was supposed to do something with business. Somebody could have been dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, right? So it's an extension of the Eight of Pentacles here. Somebody was supposed to do something in business. Somebody didn't do the work. They were lazy. Hmm. But they're also a reliable person. Yep, originality is somebody's work. There's a Taurus here. Somebody was looking at the originality of somebody's work. There's a decision. Gemini, you have to make a decision about the originality of somebody's work. Somebody could be now. I also wanted to. I also want to say this justice reversed here. In addition to the high front reverses, a judgment going against somebody. This could be. It could be you, Leo. This is almost confirmation to me with that showing up on the board. However, it does show up under Gemini's line. So both you guys could have something in the justice system, right? Two peas in a pod. There's something going against you, and there's something going against Gemini too. So both of y'all, it look like uh, things ain't. And something ain't right with the law. Somebody was being corrupt. There's a corrupt. Mm -hmm. The high Ferrant is a preacher, y'all. This preacher is coming out reverse here. There's a corrupt preacher who's a Gemini, it says here. Somebody's, listen, I'm not lying to you. And I wasn't even looking for that. I picked it up last. I was like, let me just explain these cards. The originality is somebody's work. Somebody's question is there's a bad preacher or a bad organization head or a bad something with the courthouse ain't going your way they're gonna come back and say the originality don't belong to you that's not yours so somebody could have stole somebody's work or took credit for something that they didn't do or had no permission to do something like that this is Taurus energy coming up. It could be a Taurus, but it's falling under Gemini's line. This could be the person that Gemini was dealing with. This Taurus energy. But somebody promised somebody something. How are you going to promise something that ain't yours? Tell me what the justice in the Eight of Cups is. Because you got justice reversed. The King of Pentacles. Hmm. Give me more. Somebody was an investor here. There's an investor out here. Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo who feels like... I don't know if this person feels like they were cheated. Eight of Pentacles. This is about somebody's work again. Somebody agreed to something that was high pressure. There was a King of Pentacles who agreed to something that was high pressure, but this person was a wise investor. They wound up having to do something with repair work. This person might have been too busy to keep an eye on something and know that they were treated unfairly in a the situation. There's confusion that comes up. With the two of swords again somebody's got to make a decision the two of swords comes out upright here but when i ask to clarify the justice it comes up reversed so there's some information overload or something there was some sort of betrayal in a partnership this partnership was supposed to get you guys together right both you guys were supposed to do something together if this is a partnership or leo feels like they were treated unfairly and Jim and I was like, well, you know what? You built me up and I was let down, but I feel like somebody else did this. I feel like it was a cancer who did this or somebody else did this. Who's this person losing their mind, please? So basically what I'm saying is, I said, what is the justice reverse? What is the ace of cups reverse? It's confusion. It's indecision. Somebody did something. It was a betrayal in a partnership. Somebody lied to somebody. Now I will tell you this too. Whoever this uh, energy is here. What's that Capricorn? Yeah, this could be, I don't know, it could be a Taurus. It could be. There's some kind of confusion. Somebody was overloaded on information because they have a busy schedule. They're always on the go. I feel like somebody didn't get all the information that they needed. Somebody agreed to, to something that was high pressure, but they didn't have the time to do the work. 
this person is typically solid. That's why I feel like they may have taken somebody's word in something, but now they have to compromise. It was betrayal in a situation. Somebody betrayed somebody in a business partnership. The business partnership was supposed to land somebody the eight of pentacles, get somebody some money, get somebody into a place where they could enjoy their lives. Something about employment. I don't know. Some kind of promise was made about employment or work. The originality, creativity of a project. Yep, Ten of Pentacles. This is about somebody's inheritance. There's a decision that has to be made now about somebody's inheritance. Lack of trust in a partnership to get an inheritance. They didn't get it. Or well, that's what the fight was about. Did they get it? Mm, look at that. Lack of teamwork. I don't think they got it. Somebody wound up having a bad attitude towards something. I don't think they got it with the four of wands. There's actually arguments going on. You got a family of people out here arguing. Somebody moved out. It could have been an Aries Leo or Sagittarius that moved out. They got some clarity about something and the illusion ended. So somebody moved out once they realized they were cheated or treated unfairly in the situation. I think both of you guys just took off. Now somebody said it's somebody the evil eye. All right. Let me just all of that. That's funny. All right. So we got there. Oh, so no, we already know that this this involves somebody who's corrupt. There's some corrupt organization head or or preacher, priest, uh, you know, you know. All right, so we got that. Let me get a combo. Somebody is losing their mind, though. I tell you that. Whoever this is, they're not doing too well. These like complete nuts. See, but Gemini, you're also sending somebody the evil eye out of sight. I don't know. Give me a conversation, please. Because I'm not really... I mean, I get it. I get it. I feel like there was a false promise here, too. I feel like for some of you guys, this is an age difference in this relationship. Somebody lied to somebody. It's going to the courthouse. Somebody's questioning the originality. This could be originality of a child as a kid, yours... It could be the originality of a body of work. I think we have enough cards to support our fertility argument. So <laughs> give me a conversation, please, Leo. Wow, oh, that was fast. I don't know what I did with it, though. Uh, uh huh. Let me just shuffle again. All right. I think we have enough cards to support somebody's going to the courthouse. It could be about a fertility issue or it could be about work, right? So somebody could be going to child support court because they're going to ask you if you work or how you get your money or where you live in, something like that. Somebody's going to say, oh, she tricked me. They said, yep, my heart. Somebody lied about the eight betrayal. You got to be kidding me. Leo's like, I betrayed you. Betrayal? Either Leo's like, you betrayed me or I betrayed you. Betrayal? So somebody took off and left. A blessing in disguise. Leo, what else do you have to say to Gemini? Hold on. I'm too immature. Ooh, this is starting to look like Leo effed up. Oh boy. Give me more. I don't know. I'm not in despair, though. It's reverse. They're saying that they're no longer in despair, but I guess I did betray you. There was betrayal here, says Leo, or you betrayed me. However this goes for you, take it how it resonates, guys. Put people where they belong in these reads. This is not every Leo, not every Gemini. This is a soap opera channel, so it's going to be theatrics and sad music. Listen, it's all soap operas. If the story resonates, awesome. Or, you know, please keep in mind these readings are for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Give me conversation. What does Gemini have to say to Leo? I belong to you. Somebody send me. Wait, go ahead. <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all. Give me more. I don't know who's simping. I, I, listen, you can't tell you. Who knows? I think we all been simping every once in a while down in the gutter. No lie. I don't care who we all been in the gutter. Down where we don't belong. And caught up with people. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to be legit these days. I, I just 
it's just not the time for the effery. Like, it's really not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one seeing people throwing up outside. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one witnessing this, uh, this biblical time that we are in. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't play. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I play. Like, no, I don't play like that. But for the most part, guys, I'm telling you, one thing I have learned about myself during my journey here, I will say this, is I am a complete workaholic. I've always been that way, but I never considered it workaholic. I don't consider it because I, I, I don't find it chore. I find it, I like what I do. So yes, I'm a workaholic, but I like what I do. I do. I guess other people weren't happy and that's fine. I mean, knock yourself out, but don't knock my channel down. It's ridiculous. Anyway, just because you mad. I don't, I, don't, I don't like the way you uh, got people reading them cards. I ain't got nobody reading no cards. They was reading before I got here. That's number one. And just because you mad, you're going to shut somebody's channel down. Now you, I ain't got nothing else to say about that case. I will tell you this. Everybody, everybody going to reap what they sow. I tell you that. That's obvious as the day is long. And if you can't see it, you blind because you want to be. You have all these folks all over the TV telling you what's going on. They're all over YouTube. They tweeting. We tweeting. Every, like We going buck out here trying to let y'all know something is off with this. But you still going to sit around and act like, oh, okay. Okay. No problem. I want you to go on about your way. And when you get hit with that backwards, I'm trying to tell you. I will look for two things. They say it's by fire next time. I will prepare for a fire. I will prepare for rain. I say this because you have people who have purposely in these texts changed things up, right? So remember, you everything that you are living right now is a reversal. So they said, what was it before? Noah, right? So we could look at it from that perspective, right? Or somebody could have said Noah is coming... I don't know. They say you know what happened. They say by fire next time. I'm going to prepare for both because I don't know. I feel like we need to be ready for all storms, right? All sciences. And the key out here is for people to eat. So, <sighs> you know, I laugh at folks. You laugh at the preppers. You laugh at the readers. And then we're going to be the ones here. Ooh. Anyway, go on now. Go ahead. Tim and I, what else you got to say? I'm just saying, like, all the people y'all was laughing at, we seem to be... <laughs> Listen, when the crap storm hits, you don't come to us. Don't come in our backyard so much. You need cans of uh, corn. And you laughing, right? So you can laugh. What, Lord? You can laugh hungry since you want to laugh. Besides, they came in here and stole all my prep supplies. So look what's happening to you now. Mm. Give me one more, Gemini. What else you guys say to Leo? All right, hold up. All right, there we go. I'm angry at you. Well, I belong to you. I'm angry at you. Oh, I don't want you to belong to me if you're angry at me. Why don't you go on about your way? Oh, we don't fit together. That's obvious, and that's why Leo said bye. But. This could be reversed, right? So, Leo, look through your eyes. In all, in all fairness, Leo, you probably effed up. That's what it looked like. You did some side. Somebody did some sideways. I feel like, Leo, I feel like you may have tricked Gemini in this one. That's what it feels like. All right. Give me the common energy. What do they have to say to each other? I miss you, but I lie to myself. Yeah, I get it. Somebody lied to you, or, you know, some things you don't want to admit about a partnership or a relationship or, you know, a business partnership, an agreement. Something doesn't work out. We have an agreement. You have to separate from it. I miss you, but I lie to myself. I feel like for some of you guys, both you guys may have turned a blind eye to certain things like, like, Gemini, you could have ignored the fact that there was some immaturity that was as clear as day in Leo. You could have ignored that. Hmm. I feel like this Leo could be borderline manipulative, too. I do. It just, it just displays that you're angry, but they admit I'm immature. So I feel like you may have seen that. 
Gemini ahead of time. This person has been in the justice system. Not that, you know, it's reversed. So this person may have had some sort of a record. This is not for everybody. Your, your Leo could have had a record or something like that. So there's a couple of things here, but I feel like there's some imbalance, definitely. Or there's somebody coming in between y'all who's uh, making things imbalanced. As a matter of fact, who is this person? Let me just take a look. Who is this uh, energy? Is this a person or what is this or who is this? What's going on here? Who's this temperance or Virgo? Oh, okay. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo energy. Somebody who might be having some money issues. Somebody who's multitasking. So they're having some mental issues. And they're also multitasking. Some options that they have in terms of making money or something like that. There's also something, yeah, judgment again. So there's something coming up for this person. There's some delays where they can't get something done because of their past. They could be dealing with a Scorpio or this is Scorpio energy. It's a judgment that comes up again. There was some judgment about money. Somebody could have been found guilty. Whoever this person is, they may have been found guilty or will be found guilty. The two of wands, somebody's plans fell apart to do something. Somebody had more influence over another. So Leo, you may have had more influence over this person who's mad, this cancer, right? They're mad because you have more power than them when it came to something. There's some money issues with the two of wands here. This person didn't have any money. A judgment is going against them. It's just confirmation with the two of pentacles. The two of wands reversed. Some plans fell apart for them to make more money. Somebody's leaving the situation after failure. So whoever this energy is, they're giving up. They're giving up now, but what damage has been done? You understand what I'm saying? They did a lot of damage before they exit. Exited this. Yeah, they exited the building, all right. They going to jail. Something with the tall reverse here. Somebody did something. This person is on the verge of jail time, prison time. There's something that they did. It could have... Somebody could have been in a housing project or, I don't know, y'all call it metro housing. Metro housing is the projects. <laughs> it's a cute name, though. Metro housing is yeah, it's the projects. Somebody could be going to jail, some arson, whoever this person is. This might just symbolize or tell us what this person did before. There was something that collapsed. They could have went down for something having to do with property, arson, uh, insurance fraud. Somebody did something at the projects or something like that. Somebody living in the projects. Something with insurance fraud. Something, something with somebody's worst fears being realized. Somebody found out somebody burned something down or somebody found out a confirmation somebody's going to jail. Somebody's unfulfilled. They didn't even get what they wanted out of this situation. This is this person who's interrupting you, right? Something about a surprise gift. What's the surprise? Hold on. Let me shuffle these. Unfulfilled surprise gifts. What's the surprise? With the four of cups. Oh, <laughs> a new baby. Okay. Somebody could have had a new baby or somebody surprised about a marriage or a new baby or something like that. Somebody was upset. Apathy. Somebody was upset about something that was a surprise to them. It could have been they found out somebody had a new relationship, right? Gemini. Somebody could have found out you were in a new relationship because we have Ace of Cups upright. This person interrupting is Ace of Cups. Your relationship... Gemini with Leo is Ace of Cups reverse here. So somebody wasn't happy about you being in a relationship. I don't know if they ruined it or something like that. There's something with a baby that comes up. Somebody was corrupt. Somebody was being a con artist. You was going to a judge. There was a judge in between here too. An unconventional judge. Unconventional judge. And then we have the high front reverse here. There's a crooked judge. Here. Give me one more thing about this crooked judge. Abuse of power. Ain't that but listen, ain't that but a mother effer. Listen, I'm trying to tell you. Leo energy. There's a Leo. Leo, you could have used the crooked judge or this could be another Leo. That's the crooked judge that did all of this. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let y'all go. I've been here long enough. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. I'm going to thank you so much. For tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, please. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.